Machine Learning in Business Processes. I'd like to add my perspective to a good Harvard Business Review article that's titled, Companies Are Reimagining Business Processes with Algorithms. I'm excited because it brings together two of my favorite and powerful disciplines, business modeling and machine learning. Modeling the business processes gave us a mechanism to understand how things get done in an organization. Once we understood how things worked, we were able to change those things so they worked better. Process modeling gave us a notation. This notation has three main things. Boxes that capture the activities that happen, lines that indicate the flow of control, and decision diamonds to capture various conditions for branching. Let's say you're an insurance agent and a customer comes in for an auto quote. You'd first gather some information about the customer, such as his date of birth, address, etc., and validate that information. Then you'd gather information about the car, such as ear, make, and model, and based on all this, you'd determine the type of insurance to offer him. The quote is computed based on a proprietary rating model. This rating model would have been painstakingly constructed by understanding different customer segments and using information such as age, income, location, crime rate, location, cost of living, make and model of the car, and a whole slew of other factors. Then the marketplace became more dynamic and companies needed to quickly adapt and be able to change their processes. So they replaced these static decision diamonds with rules. Unlike code changes, rules provided an easier way to control the process flow. Then re-engineering happened and the point of that was to get rid of some process steps altogether or to automate them so that they can happen more efficiently. The implementation of re-engineering was not done particularly well, so we ended up with other problems, but the concepts of process simplification still held true. In today's environment, activities in a process do not necessarily follow fixed sequences and should also be driven by rules. So we can get rid of directional flow and model the desired flexibility with rules. This has not happened widely yet, and many companies are still struggling with inflexible processes. While rules are easy to change, they're also difficult to maintain by humans, especially if they become large. We're beginning to replace those human-generated rules by machine-generated ones. This is done by machines that learn these rules automatically from data. The advantage of machine-generated rules is that it can quickly adapt to changing business environments. How does machine learning work? Let's continue with our insurance example. Say we have lots of information about existing customers that include their personal information, where they live, what type of car they own, and how much premium they're paying. The insurance premium is a function of all those factors. If you feed this data into a machine, it could identify patterns in that data and build internal models to represent those patterns. Then, given a new customer, it could use its internal representation to compute the premium for that customer. As the demographics of the customers change, the machine can update its representation to adapt. In this example, machines can replace both the rating model and the rules that drive the processes and automatically adapt to changes in the environment. In the future, machine learning will play a critical role in how businesses work.